Takedown Tribe, it is Takedown Tuesday, and every week you guys see us challenge ourselves by overconsuming an absolutely insane amount of food. So we thought that we would dedicate an entire food challenge to foods that come from the country that overconsumes the most, which is obviously the United States of America. Yeah, today we made the most ridiculously American food challenge by bringing the most absurd variety of American foods to the takedown table. For instance, we've got hamburgers and hot dogs, we've got peanut butter and jelly, we've got pecan pie, pumpkin pie, apple pie, too much pie but the only thing more American than the foods themselves is over consuming these foods which is exactly why the word challenge is definitely going to be applicable with how much of them we brought to the game today it's too much food it's not too much food apparently we only know how to go big which is probably our most American quality but I am definitely ready to get into this Are you good to go to make her proud Well, nothing is more American than a hot dog, so I say we start with that. All right, let's do it. Yep. All right, so welcome to America. And as if the rest of the world didn't find Americans in America obnoxious as it is, that intro probably did it for them. Probably. And we know that there are countless American foods we didn't have on this menu, but there's only so much we could fit into a 25,000 calorie challenge. So we just chose some of our favorites and some things we've never tried before. Now, if you're a member of the Takedown Tribe, then you are aware that the Takedown Twins do not eat meat. So we actually went with plant-based field roast hot dogs for these, which were really great. And then later on, we had some burgers, then we went with the Impossible Whoppers from Burger King. Also, totally hit. Yeah, we don't do fake meat very often, but both were a lot of fun to have for this challenge. Dude, those hot dogs were epic. We went with potato rolls, and I think a potato roll is the best bread for a hot dog. But next up, I'm thinking that we go with a good old classic apple pie. You cool with that? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do it. Mickey D's apple pies. Always good. All right, now drop down in the comments and let us know if you remember when McDonald's apple pies used to be fried. Apparently there's a lot of controversy about them now and people think they're not nearly as good, but I don't really care if they're fried or baked. We always love McDonald's apple pies. You can't go wrong. We didn't feel like eating an entire apple pie, so we went with the McDonald's apple pies. Excellent choice. Yeah. We also did not feel like making s'mores, <laughs> which is another fantastic American sweet. So instead we got these s'more bars and s'mores bars and they look awesome. Do you want to do those? Yeah, let's do them. <laughs> Actually, I've really been looking forward to these. Let's read this. It's an indulgent graham crust topped with sweet marshmallow filling, finished with chocolate ganache drizzle, chocolate chips, and crumbled graham. That sounds insane. It will be hard for this to be bad. Ooh. Oh, wow. Whoa! Okay. Wow! Man, these are what dreams are made of. Yeah, we were excited about these, but you'll hear more about that in a minute. This might be one of the greatest things we've ever eaten. Wow! Best s'mores product I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Now, fun fact, we actually spotted these s'mores bars and then the buttermilk pie you're gonna see later in this video, and we wanted to try them both so badly that they're actually what inspired this entire ridiculous American experience. Now, away from the s'mores bars, huge shout out to Junk Food Clothing Co. and Athletics Unchained for literally all the shirts we're wearing in this video. Yeah, Junk Food Clothing Co. has the sickest vintage style gear, and Nate pretty much lives in that Athletics Unchained sweatshirt now. So seriously, thank you, and check them out. Oh my god. I have never had anything like that in my life. Mm -mm. Like I said before, that is hands down the best s'mores product I have ever had. <clears throat> Dude, I could have eaten those all night. I am absolutely blown away. Those are from the Walmart bakery. If you see them there, absolutely get them. Next up, I'm thinking that maybe we do these burgers. Okay, okay. Wait, 
Here we go. Oh yeah. Burgers on the channel. Not something that you guys have seen very often, but it was a lot of fun having them on this menu, even though it's not something that we really typically gravitate towards. Okay, so we grew up eating Whoppers. I think that I either had a Whopper or a Dave's Double from Wendy's every single week growing up. So if there's one thing we're familiar with, it's how good a Whopper is or what it's supposed to taste like. And I can say with full confidence, I think that this Impossible Whopper tastes just like the real deal. If I tried them side by side, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference. You're gonna have to let us know if you tried one before and let us know down in the comments what you think. That center bite was magical. Now we asked for extra condiments and extra pickles. They delivered and it was very satisfying. Yeah, we are totally team pickle over here. Drop down in the comments and say the word pickle if you are also team pickle on your burgers. I love a good Whopper. Absolutely love it. We only got one more thing from fast food places. I'm thinking we just get all the fast food stuff out of the way. We've never had the chocolate chip cookies from McDonald's before. We've got those today. Mmm, that's a good cookie. Mm. Now we ate an unreasonable amount of fast food growing up, but we never really ate desserts at fast food restaurants. So you gotta let us know what the best fast food dessert is. That tasted just like a homemade cookie. Yeah. <clears throat> Never had McDonald's chocolate chip cookies. They're very good. At first I was a little underwhelmed. It was like a mix between crispy and crunchy. Mm -hmm. I mean, crunchy and soft. Mm -hmm. Very good though. Like, I knew what you meant. Tasted just like, like your grandmother made cookies. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I don't need to be talking about two cookies that long. <laughs> <clears throat> Next up, I'm thinking that we do the peanut butter and jelly, which is another thing that we did not feel like making, so instead we got Uncrustables. <laughs> All right, let's do them. Let me get this out of the way. Honestly, I think out of everything we see as kids, we ate the most peanut butter and jelly of anything at all. Love them. There was absolutely no way we were doing an American-themed food challenge without bringing a PB&J to the game. I love peanut butter and jelly. Do it with grape jelly, do it with strawberry jam. Either way, it hits every time. They get the ratios perfect on these. Peanut butter to jelly, let me show them one more time. Exceptional. You are probably the first and only person to classify an Uncrustable as exceptional. But I am with you on this one. Yeah, I mean, well, they do it right. It's just a perfectly done classic PB&J. I've seen people say that they don't like Uncrustables. I got nothing bad to say about them. What's it's, wrong with them? It's a great peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We do have a lot of pie still on the table. Maybe we should consider starting to tackle one of those. Mm. You could do one of the full ones? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm thinking we start with the one that we're not sure of what it is. Just in case it's bad, it'd be better to just take it down now before we're in a world of pain. And the pie that we've never had before is a Southern buttermilk pie. I have no idea what it's even supposed to taste like, but I call it Southern buttermilk pie. Definitely an American item. So that'd be fun to try something new. All right, all right, you do that. I'm gonna cut open the pecan while you do that though. Okay. That looks pretty good. Take a look at this. Yes! Whoa! It's fluffy, it's got a little bit of tang. Wow, that's good. Exceptional. Our second high five of the day and Nate's second exceptional of the day. But seriously, this thing was amazing. It kind of looks like a custard pie, but it was nothing like that. So we looked this thing up after this challenge and it turns out there is nothing more Southern than a buttermilk pie, so says the website. So I guess we're pretty bad Americans because we had never even heard of it. Another amazing item. Between that 
in the s'mores bars from earlier, I don't know which one's better. Like you said, fluffy, tangy, and a super strong vanilla flavor. Yeah. That was awesome. Do you just want to take down the pecan pie while we're at it? Yeah, well, that probably just became one of my favorite pies. And pecan pie is one of my favorite pecan pies. Probably top three. Did I just say that pecan pie is one of my favorite pecan pies? Yeah, it's funny doing these videos because we only do them in one take, and so if we mess up and we say something stupid, it kind of just is what it is. We're not going to cut it out. But as for the pecan pie, absolutely amazing. It's probably 99% corn syrup, but it is 100% delicious. I've got to say, I think that my top three favorite pies are a pecan pie, a pumpkin pie, and now the southern buttermilk pie, as far as the American pies go. They are far better than the apple pie, the blueberry, or the cherry pies, in my opinion. I think I need a break from the pie. <clears throat> Let's try something else. However, I do absolutely love that pie. That is the definition of ooey gooey. But in stark contrast to that ooey gooey, extremely sweet pie, I think that we need to take down this bagel and cream cheese because that is going to be very difficult at the end of all this. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. We got an everything bagel and we've got garden vegetable cream cheese. As if you guys haven't seen Philadelphia cream cheese enough on this channel, we couldn't help but bring it back. <sighs> Fill it up. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. Well, there, I guess, is your weekly food close-up of something with too much cream cheese on it from the Takedown Twins. Yeah, we might have to give that one a break because the amount of times we have made the Takedown Tribe watch us assemble some kind of bread with too much cream cheese on it is a lot. Oh. <laughs> Now this was actually Walmart's brand of the Everything Bagel with Asiago cheese on it, and it was excellent. If you're a bagel lover out there, I definitely recommend it. I'm a mouth. I fill it up, man. Yeah. Ooh. Same. But garden vegetable cream cheese was a good choice today. It's been a while since I've had that. I actually think it's been since our bagels and cream cheese challenge since we've had garden vegetable. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, but we've got a couple little miniature items before just candy and cornbread. Ugh, dog, I'm sorry. <laughs> we got candy, cornbread, and a couple of these miniature items. I'm thinking that we take these things down and then we'll assess what we want to move to next. But we have this little cup of banana pudding, a coconut cream pie cup, and a mini pumpkin pie. I'm thinking that we take them down in that order. Okay, sounds good to me. I can't tell you the last time I had banana pudding. Honestly, I don't remember ever having banana pudding. I knew we've had it. It's just probably been since we were like kids. All right. Ugh, I got a burp. Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. Take a look at this stuff. All right. Let's see what this is about. Point right number one. No complaints. That's not bad. Yeah, this thing was really good and really sweet. You're gonna hear Pete say later on though that he didn't really detect much banana, but I think that's because this thing was only like 10% actual banana pudding and like 90% vanilla whipped cream. And I'm not complaining about that. No, and then you had a graham cracker crust at the bottom and some vanilla cookies on top. Absolutely no complaints. It was great. That was great. I did not detect much oh. banana though, and it was probably 320% sugar. Yeah. <laughs> but still excellent. Let's try this coconut cream pie. Let's do it. That was good though. Mm. 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 That is thick. There you go. Now I am all about eating regular pie as it's intended to be eaten, but for a cream pie, I think that this is the superior way of eating it out of a cup. 
Yeah, well it had a graham cracker crumble on the bottom rather than an actual pie crust, and that's just way better for a cream pie. I'd get that again. That I think was better than the banana pudding. Perfect amount of crust to fill in to cream. Excellent. Let's see how this little mini pumpkin pie is though. We were gonna go with a full pumpkin pie, but we decided to go with the pecan instead because we just had that big pumpkin pie in, what video was it? Clearance, clearance, yeah. Oh, doesn't look half bad. Things cute. All right, take a look at this. See how it is? Hmm. Pumpkin pie is one of those items that I could eat in every food challenge and be happy every single time. I had very low expectations for that. I thought it was going to be so much crust and not enough filling, <clears throat> seeing that it was going to be that size. That was a perfect sized crust. That was actually really good. I think I prefer it to the crust on a full pie. Yeah. The ratios were a lot better than I was expecting. I was, like Nate said, expecting way too much crust mm -hmm. for filling. Yeah. Not the case, though. Mm -mm. We have cornbread and candy. Uh, Neither sounds appealing at this point. Nope. I think the only thing I'm actually looking forward to out of anything on the table is trying the key lime pie Kit Kat. Ooh. Yeah. Another pie item. Uh, this one's key lime pie. This is the same shape as a pie. <laughs> I guess so, Americans really like pie. Who knew? Probably the entire world. Okay. But anyways, let's do this. Okay. Maybe the cookies and cream and we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. Hey, look at this. That's the new kick. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. See if it's any good. It tastes like a key lime pie. I don't even like key lime pie, but that's good. Yeah. The American Kit Kat, which I'm pretty sure is the only Kit Kat in the whole world produced by Hershey's and not by Nestle. Oh, man. Now, honestly, I kind of struggled going back to this regular size Hershey's cookies and cream bar because we had those big cookies and cream bunnies in our Easter candy challenge, and those were so much fun. Far superior, in my opinion. Oh, I'm hurting. Can we go to the races? Let's at least do one pack. Okay. And we'll see if we want to jump to the cornbread. All right. Uh, we brought the, we brought the uh, new Reese's in. It's the uh, <clears throat> ultimate peanut butter lovers, meaning that there's no chocolate. It's an entire peanut butter shell filled with peanut butter. Nothing more American than peanut butter, I guess. <sighs> Wanna show him? Yeah, I gotta burp. It's always when you need to burp that it refuses to come. Yeah, here we go. All right. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot of peanut butter. Mm. That's pretty great. Yep. Now, if you couldn't understand what I just said, it was, that's a lot of peanut butter, but that's pretty great. And I stand by that statement. If you love peanut butter even nearly as much as we do, you need to give these new Reese's a shot. You want to just finish them? All right. Uh, all right. Dive uh, back in. Now, I am looking forward to having these again when I'm not in a world of pain because I remember really liking them but just not wanting to eat them at all. Yeah, and it was the same situation with the mallow tops in our Easter challenge, but luckily we were smart enough to backstock on them so we can bring them back. <sighs> Only one more American food left, huh? <sighs> and I have a feeling this is gonna be tough. This is not the item to end on. No. The only thing we have left is jalapeno cornbread. Ah, oh, man. I just need one sec. Oh, that peanut butter does not want to break down. Mm -mm. It's getting tough. All right, we've got four pieces of cornbread each. Think we can take this home? I think so. I think so, but 
Probably, probably a lot of this. Yeah. Ah, all right. Okay. Always got to make sure we're living up to the name challenge, huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, Four little cornbread loaves. Has never felt like so much. Well, not the time for this. Now this is our third time having this exact jalapeno cornbread on this channel and every single time we leave it to the very end of the challenge and don't enjoy it. What is wrong with us? I know, but something always has to come last in a food challenge and it seems like this jalapeno cornbread just does not stand a chance. But on that note, we are gonna wrap up the commentary. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this food challenge and we will leave you with the outro. Well, that was our third time having that jalapeno cornbread. I think that was the spiciest they've made it, which doesn't really agree with the fact that I am so full. There's a lot of spice. But tell me if you had this feeling. I thought maybe like two or three items ago that this was might this might have been a fail, and that we weren't actually going to be able to do that. I was worried about that cornbread before going into it. I'm so stuck we actually finished. I know. Now is a lot of American foods. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Ah. Some, at some point during like, I don't know when it was, bagel and cream cheese area, mm. I had a flashback to eating the hot dog at the beginning. <laughs> and sometimes when you do these food challenges, by the time you are towards the end of a menu, the beginning feels like an eternity ago. Yeah. This one was not fast. No. Last week's went by in the blink of an eye. Yeah. That felt like it took a while. Yeah, well, we've been here for this is just over an hour now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. Well, I do have to say, that was a fantastic menu. Mm -hmm. What a wild mix of foods I never would have imagined eating together. Yeah. Well, I think my favorite thing on the entire table though is that s'mores bar again if you see that thing at walmart make sure to grab it that thing was excellent yeah the s'mores bar and the buttermilk pie just blew my mind both yeah. of them agreed <coughs> but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video that was pretty awesome for us hopefully it was for you if you did as always i know i say it every week but please give the video a like it helps the channel and it really means a lot to us Jump in the comment section, say something fun. You know, we try to be down there. You know, typically the day of and the day after we release a video, we try to be active on there at least, you know, as much as we can be. So yeah. jump in the comment section, chances are we'll see something. And subscribe to the channel if you're watching right now and you are not yet subscribed. We have a lot of fun videos coming. That's I it. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it.